All Star Squad. Yo, what's up, my officers? Welcome back to another one. And uh, today, I'll be showing you guys how to make YouTube videos off of Chromebook. Just to show that you don't need an expensive setup to actually make YouTube videos. So, before we begin, gonna head over here. You gotta make sure Linux is on. If you don't have Linux, we can't be doing this, bro. Make sure to turn on Linux first, and then you can come back to this video. And also make sure your Chromebook at least has some RAM, has some processing power so it can actually handle the program and you can edit pretty smoothly. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys a step-by-step -step on how to put Kaden live. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to this guy. Chrome OS made simple. He made an actual really good video that goes over everything, every single step by step. And then I want you guys to watch that. Leave a like and sub to this man. This man's really lit. I'm not even sub to him. What am I doing? There we go. This man's really lit. Has a lot of tutorials on how to install different Chromebook programs. I'm going to leave his link in the description down below. So make sure to check out this video and then y'all come back. Two hours later. All right, so y'all should be back after watching that video. Now, one big thing before I wanna start off. You gotta make sure all your files, whatever you're gonna use to edit, it needs to be in Linux files. If you have it on my files, it's not gonna show up. FYI. All right, so now let's get to the meat of this video. It's gonna be Kaden Live right where I have my cursor. This is how it's going to look like after hopefully you have it installed the right way. So let me make this a little bigger. You can move it however you want it. It's just personal preference. I want to see what I'm working with right here. So you got a lot of um, spots. You can put a lot of things. For example, you put it. You can have your video and then put another thing on top. You can put a lot of things in here. To be honest, this V3, V4, however much you want it. So. Right here where you see name, you're gonna double click this area right here. And this is how it's gonna look. This is how it's gonna look when you are in your files. For me, I have my upcoming things, things I'm working on. Things I'm working on, I have it named as upcoming. So I am a big Fortnite uh, content creator. So let's just go with this one. Amos is on top. I haven't uploaded this yet, so that's why it is on upcoming. So you gotta let the file render for a little bit and then you can drag it down in here. There we go. So I wouldn't say this is like on the level of like an Adobe Premiere, but it, it is a good solution to edit your videos. So let's go over some of the effects right here. I'm not really too deep into the effects pretty much all the effects i use is the fade outs the gain for example let's test out the gain real quick so i can show you guys so you drag it right here if a, a part of your video is a little too loud you can lower it to like 50 percent or something like that so so you can make sure that your audio is kind of balanced here you're going to use the razor tool Pretty much like Premiere Pro, you cut a thing that you don't like. For example, we cut it right here. And if you want to delete, just right click your mouse, delete the selected item, and bye bye. There it goes. So this is, you know, it's not that hard to work with. It's pretty user friendly. So those are the audio correction effects. If you want to get really deep into it, you can add some color effects to it, blur mirror you know if you are really tech savvy there's a lot of effects so you can get into some advanced editing for me i just do the simple stuff you know i go here i go here go to my upcoming grab whatever my files i got go to like i don't even know outro is this a new outro i think this is new outro <laughs> I don't even know. I change my outro every every once in a while. I think this is an old one, but whatever. For six of the video, you know, you put your outro, you put your intro. 
you know if you don't want the audio to be too loud you know you fade it in you put it right here you fade it out bam and then you can also edit it so so if you don't want your fade in to be that long or your fade out to be that long you can shorten it down and then image adjustments so you can have a nice little fade in effect like this see look at that wow i think the video is already faded in so I don't know why I did that, but it's for the content. And then fade out. Wow. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not really that much of an advanced editor. If you really want somebody that's really advanced, like, I'll suggest looking up like uh, Kaden Live expert tips. So yeah, you know, this is pretty much all the options you got. I'm gonna hover over them. If you see something that you like, you know, pause the video. So yeah, once you think your video is good enough and ready to ship out to YouTube, click the render button. And then right here, you know, you have WebM. MP4 is the YouTube, the YouTube side of things. If you want to make a GIF out of your video, and if your Chromebook can handle it, you can go up to 4K if you really want to. You can go really deep into this. There's a lot of render options. Usually I go with MP4. So for the sake of the video, let's just render this real quick. For the sake of the video. I don't even know. We're just going to put aim. I don't know. And then you click render file. And then boom, you know. It is about like 20 something seconds. If you have a faster Chromebook than mine, mine's is like 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's a Dell Chromebook 2-in-1. I'm going to leave the link on the specs and everything like that so you can kind of like compare it your chromebook to mine's and see if it can handle it and there you go now the renders finish uh for me my renders are right here render vids and it should show up there i don't know why it doesn't show up here we're gonna check it real quick yeah it should have showed up right here I don't know why it didn't show up there. Oh, right here, my bad. So it's always gonna be on videos. I have tried before to make a folder that's called render vids, but it doesn't actually render there. It actually goes to the videos, my bad. So yeah, that's the video we worked with. You can y'all can see it. Look. It's right there, fully rendered, even with the outro. Easy claps. So yeah, like, I mean, after that, there's really not that much you can do. You go over here to YouTube and you upload your thing. But before I go, if you are on Chromebook and you can't get Photoshop, obviously, because Photoshop is Windows. I think there is a Photoshop on, on Chromebook, but it's the Android version. I won't really recommend that. So I recommend going to Pixlr.com. I'll leave that in the description as well. This is where I made my All-Star Squad logos, my sub buttons, you know, the thumbnail that everybody liked. Do the most, this is probably one of my best thumbnails. And the All-Star Pog emote, you know, everything I made on Pixlr. So if you want to make a photo and you want to have like a little transparent background, look, there's so much sizes for it. Like, for now, this is 1080p. You know, it's like a free campus and, you know, there's a lot of effects here. Obviously, it's not going to work because I don't have anything here yet, but I'm just showing you guys the options. It's kind of like Photoshop, but for free, you know. So I'll definitely advise you to hop on this for YouTube bits and that's how you make your thumbnails and all that cool stuff. But hey, man, let's go back here. Hey man, if I supported you, I helped you out, I changed your life. If I did one of those things by showing you this, listen man. Just know that don't be limited by your setup. Like you can do whatever you want. You just got to go after it and like chase it. Listen, I have a Chromebook. I, ha I stream from Xbox and look at me man. Like I'm still up here. I'm still up here. Grinding every single day. You dig? 
But yeah, don't let your setup um, limit you, you know? Edit your videos on your Chromebook. Edit your photos right here in Pixlr. And then, you know, title and then tags is up to you. I'm not really an expert at that. But I do recommend downloading vidIQ. I'm also going to leave that in the description down below. Uh, for example, for example, a lot of people leave the tags here. He didn't leave a tag. He only put one. But if you look at other famous YouTubers, uh, they put their tags in there too. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed the video, if you are a Chromebook user and I helped you out, leave the like button. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. We're on the road to 500 subs. So go hit that up. And also check my socials out, you know, if you are into gaming, you like watching Twitch, follow my Twitch. If you like funny content on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, go hit that up. And yeah, I'm gonna finish rambling about myself. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Have a great rest of your day. L